Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a very highly anticipated video. This is going to be my Q&A video slash 100,000 subscriber giveaway. So I'm going to do both videos in one and I received a lot, a lot of questions. So thank you guys for commenting your questions. And of course, I also want to say thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. If you have, I still can't completely grasp the concept that there's 100,000 people that want to watch my videos. So thank you guys so much for all of your love and support. Um, but let's go ahead and get on to the Q&A questions. Q&A portion because I do have a lot of questions and I want to answer as many of them as I can and also some of you asked like more than one question like five or six questions in one question so I may not answer all of your questions some of them will be repeats or I, you know I just want to try to get to as many people's questions as I can so I may not answer all of your questions if you did ask more than one so let's go ahead and get into the Q&A portion the very first questions came from Bailey Moore, and Bailey asked four questions. So Bailey, I'm going to answer two of the four questions that you asked. And the first question that she asked is, what is your job? And I have three jobs, I guess you can say. I work in the health insurance industry. I also do a little bit of makeup on the side, not as much as I used to, but I do do people's makeup here and there. And also, I guess you would say YouTube could be considered one of my jobs, even though it's more like my passion and what I love to do. But yes, those are my jobs. And she also asked, what kind of braces do you have? And a lot of people asked about my braces, which I was kind of surprised about. I didn't know so many of you were interested in that. Um, but I have clear ceramic braces. The next question comes from Mary Mary Downey and she asked, do you have children? And a lot of you also asked this question as well. And yes, Mary, I do have children. I have three daughters, which may come as a surprise to a lot of you because when I tell people that, a lot of people don't believe me. But yes, I do have three little girls. The next question comes from Lavelle Cash Murray and she asked, when did you fall in love with makeup? And I fell in love with makeup at a really young age. I would say probably in elementary school, like fourth or fifth grade. I used to wear this really, really sparkly glitter on my eyelids. I had like a gold one and a silver one. I also used to wear like this, um, it was by CoverGirl. It was like this white shadow stick, I guess you can say. I used to wear that on my lids with like some silver glitter on it and it was just a hot mess. But yes, I would say probably in elementary school. So very, very early on. The next question is from Daniela's Beauty and she asked, who inspired you to make your YouTube channel and where did you, did you learn all of your makeup tricks? By the way, me and my mom both enjoy your videos and you're gorgeous. Well, thank you. Who inspired me to make my YouTube? I don't think it was one specific person that inspired me to make my YouTube. It was more just me really being, I was a viewer of YouTube for a few years before I actually got the courage to make my own channel. But I just fell in love with it. Once I discovered like the beauty community inside of YouTube, I really, really fell in love. And as far as where did I learn my makeup tricks from, a lot of it is self-taught. Like I said, I've been wearing makeup for a very young age. So a lot of it is just trial and error and trying different things and seeing what works and what looks good and then a large majority of it is also from youtube so um yeah those are where i learned my makeup tricks from the next set of questions come from alicia and alicia asked like 10 questions um let me see alicia which ones i want to answer so she asked favorite celeb my favorite celeb I would have to say it's probably Rihanna because she's like the only celebrity I follow on Instagram. So I'm going to say Rihanna. And she also asked, toes as pickles or hot dogs as fingers? Hmm, I'm going to have to say toes as pickles because I need my hands for everything. So yeah, and, those, and it would be easier to hide your toes than your hands. So I'm going to say toes as pickles. The next question comes from Reserved Chic, and they ask, has anyone ever recognized you in person from your YouTube channel? Yes, I have been recognized a few times, a couple times at the mall, once at Walmart, and then one time at this festival I went to. And I have to say, it was a little weird, like awkward for me. The person wasn't awkward, I feel like I was awkward because 
I don't know, I just wasn't expecting it and I felt like I was like a little bit shy and I hope I didn't give the wrong impression to those people. But yeah, if you ever see me in person, please come say hi. I would love to meet you guys. The next questions come from Faith Williams and Faith asked a few questions. One of her questions were, do you like sushi? And yes, I do love sushi. I loved it from a very, very young age. And she also asked, if you were a celebrity, who would you be? Um, probably Rihanna, <laughs> because I don't know, I feel like it would almost be, it's like the closest thing to being myself as a celebrity. I think she's a celebrity that looks most like me or I look most like her, I don't know. So it wouldn't be that like much of a difference. <laughs> I don't know that's that sounds really weird but yeah um Brianna the next questions come from Nina Collins and she asked do you believe in God yes I do believe in God and she also asked what is your sexual orientation I am straight the next question comes from Jasmine Wright and Jasmine asked have you ever thought about doing a meetup if so where Yes, I do want to do a meetup. Hopefully, I can get one together this year. And I would say, at least for my first meetup, I'll probably do it in my state, which is Florida. So, yes. The next question comes from Natalie Lara. And Natalie asked a really good question. She said, how can a high schooler gain confidence and just overall believe they are truly beautiful? Being happy is sometimes a struggle for me. So I'm going to say, how can a high schooler gain confidence? I would say just know in your head that your high school years are a very short time period of your life. If you're going through anything or you're feeling not confident, confident or you're having any struggles, just keep it in the back of your mind that this is a very short time frame or a short time period in my life. And it will be over soon. So I would just say try to enjoy, enjoy it while you can. And... If your lack of confidence or not feeling beautiful is coming from other people like putting you down or anything like that, I would say a lot of those people have the same feelings as you where they're not confident and some people will try to um, put that off on other people, meaning they'll try to put other people down or make other people not feel so good about themselves to make themselves feel, feel better because internally they're feeling the same way that you are. So I would say just keep that in the back of your mind. Um, Try not to care what, what people think so much and if it, if it helps, I would say just keep to yourself and just worry about your schoolwork and your grades and yeah. So that's my advice. The next questions come from Rasha Lancaster and she asked a few questions. One of them was, what kind of exercises do you do and what does your diet consist of? Um, Rasha, I don't have a diet. I just eat pretty much whatever I want to eat and I also don't exercise, which I do want to exercise. I just don't really have the time for it right now, but I do want to get more fit and more in shape. It's just good for your overall health of your body, but currently I don't have a diet or ex exercise regimen. The next question comes from Love Toya AX. And she said, what is your favorite feature? I'm assuming she means what's my favorite feature on myself. And I'm going to probably have to say my lips are my favorite feature. In the past, I probably would have said my eyes. But once I got into doing makeup, I realized that one of my eyelids is like more hooded than the other one. So I kind of have to cater my makeup looks to my uneven eyelids so I stopped liking my eyes as much. I still really like my eye shape but yeah I probably would say my lips are my favorite feature on myself. The next question comes from Ashley Gibbs and she said what are some good makeup brands for beginners? I would say a good makeup brand for beginners I would say NYX is a really really good brand for beginners. They have a wide range of products and they're also very very affordable so they're not they're like high-end quality with a drugstore price and they have pretty much everything that you could need to create a makeup look the next question comes from xo couture xo and she said hi it's india my question is will you ever stop doing youtube and how long do you plan to do it I want to do YouTube for as long as I can because it's just my passion. It's something that gives me a lot, a lot of joy and gratification. So I want to do YouTube as long as I can and as long as you guys still want to watch my videos. The next question comes from Ashley Gibbs and she said, What are some advice or tips you have for upcoming YouTubers? I would say my first piece of advice is to make quality videos or quality content. 
Um, make videos that you enjoy making and be yourself is also another very important thing. I think that if you're not yourself or if you try to portray someone else, it's very, very noticeable as a viewer. You can definitely tell when someone's being genuine and when they're not being their, themselves. I think it comes across very clearly to most people. So those are my pieces of advice for upcoming YouTubers. The next question comes from Hotbox24 and they asked, how did you grow your hair so long and how do you maintain your length? Um, I would say for me, I've always had very, very fast growing hair. I've had long hair for most of my life, so it's not really anything I had to work for or had a method to, to get long hair. I would say it's just genetics pretty much and how I maintain my length is just taking care of my hair. Um, and I also don't get trims that often. I'd say I get trims every like 9 to 12 months. When I do get trims though, I take off about 3 or 4 inches at a time. The next question comes from Trevor Greggs and Trevor asks, Have people ever told you you look like Rihanna? Love your videos by the way. Well thank you, I'm glad you like my videos. And have people, people ever told me I look like Rihanna? Yes, people tell me that all the time. I would say at least a couple times a week in real life and if I'm out and then on YouTube all the time and Instagram all the time. A really funny story is I was in Publix probably like a week ago, week ago. No, I'm just kidding. No, I was in Publix like a week ago and I was in like the deli and there was some old man. I saw him out of the corner of my eye. He was like way in the produce section and he came with his cart like full speed up to me and he came like right up to my ear and he was like, has anyone ever told you you look like Rihanna? And I was like, yeah, people tell me that all the time. I just thought it was really funny. I'm like, really? This old man knows about Rihanna and he came way from the corner of the store all the way up to me to tell me I look like Rihanna. I thought it was really funny and cute, so. The next question comes from America Erica, and she said, what would you do if you were in a room full of clowns? I will probably laugh. <laughs> The next question comes from Becky Booth and Becky asked, have you ever been to England? And yes, I have been to England. That's the only place that I've been to outside of the United States. And I went about 10 years ago, actually. I was in high school and I went to see my dad and I have other family in England as well. It was around Christmas time and I went for about two weeks or so and it was really cool. The next question comes from Doria Garcia and she asks, when you were young, what did you want to become? Um, when I was really, really young, I always wanted to become a doctor, but I think that's partially from my mother implanting that into my head to become a doctor. So that's what I wanted to be when I was very, very young. The next question comes from W period, A period, Y period, S. And they asked, if you could only listen to one song for the rest of the year on repeat, what would it be? That's a really, really hard one. Um, but I'd have to say... Valerie from Amy Winehouse. That's one of my favorite songs of all time. So I think I would pick that one. And she also asked if you had the choice to wear only one makeup item for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? That's really, really hard too. I'm going to have to say bronzer because I think bronzer really makes a difference in the way your face looks. You contour with it. It brings warmth to your face. So I'm going to have to say bronzer. Um, I could probably also use that bronzer if it's the right shade to fill in my eyebrows too. So yeah, I, I think I'm going to say bronzer. The next question comes from Morgan Zoa Johnson and she asks, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie of all time is The Labyrinth. It's a really old movie. It's from like the 80s, but it used to always come on the Disney Channel when I was younger. And it's just a really, really weird like I guess it's like a fantasy type movie like it's like in the fantasy genre and it just has like these goblins and David Bowie was in it and yeah I still really love that movie to this day I've watched it they had it on Netflix not too long ago and I watched it a few times on Netflix I'm not sure if it's still there but yeah The Labyrinth is my favorite movie the next question comes from April Harmon and April asked biggest fear well I would say before having kids, my biggest fear would have been like 
drowning or something like that or like falling to my death but now that I have kids I would say my biggest fear is probably something happening to my kids and I think that's pretty much any parent that you would ask they would say the same thing the next question comes from Tati Vera and Tati asked who is your favorite rapper I would have to say dead or alive my favorite rapper is Tupac and living rapper is Eminem skills wise but I do have a crush well on middle school I had a really really big crush on 50 Cent his Get Richard Die Trying that was like the first album I ever purchased I went out and got it with my own money and I listened to every single song on there and learned the words to all the songs on that album and I still have a little bit of a crush on him I don't know what it is about him but yeah I still have a crush on him but as far as skills wise I would say Tupac and Eminem the next question is from Purple Pancake 52 and they asked, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is black and what makeup item should you splurge on? What makeup item should you splurge on? I would probably say foundation and primer. Those are very, very important because your foundation is your foundation for all the makeup that you put on top of it. And that can really, really make a difference in how your makeup looks, the quality of your foundation. So definitely invest in a good foundation and a good primer. The next question comes from Curly Sabina. I hope I pronounced that right. She said, what's your nationality mixed with, question mark, how old are you? My nationality is I am American. What am I mixed with? My father is Jamaican and my mother is Italian. And how old are you? I am 25 years old. I know I'm very, very old. <laughs> The next question comes from Batman Ben Superman and they asked how long have you had braces and when do you get them off? I've had mine for three years and by the way congrats on hitting 100,000 subscribers. Thank you and how long have I had braces? I've had them for in March made two years that I've had them and when do I get them off? I don't know an exact date but I do know it sometime soon. The next question comes from Darlene T and she asks, what type of music do you listen to? I listen to all genre, genres of music. I have a really eclectic um, taste in music, but the primary genre of music I listen to is probably R&B. The next question comes from Siobhan Glinton and Siobhan asks, how old were you when you moved out? What's the difference in moving out and living with your parents? I was very young when I moved out. I was 17 and that's because I graduated high school a year early. So I graduated at 17 and I was going off to college. So I wanted to move closer to the school that I was going to. So I moved out at 17. What's the difference between living with your parents and living alone? Um, freedom, <laughs> you do what you wanna do, but also you do have to pay bills, which is the bad part about it. Next question from Priscilla Marie Strand. Are your curves natural or how do you get them? Please answer. My curves are natural, so uh, genetics, I don't know. <laughs> the next question comes from Always Savannah and she asks, can you start making videos more often? Yes, I do wanna always make more videos. It's my passion, it's what I love to do. It is very hard now that I have revealed that I have three children and I do have other jobs outside of YouTube. I have a full-time job. So it is very hard to make videos, um, a lot of videos. But I do wanna make more. Um, that's one of my goals for this year is to be more consistent with making videos. So I at least at minimum wanna do one a week. My goal is probably two a week if I can. So I will start making more videos and also when I get my new, my new camera, which I should be getting really, really soon, I will be making more um, tutorials. The next question comes from Diane and Diane asks, what makes your channel different and unique compared to the others? As far as content goes, if I'm being 100% honest, I would say nothing because in the beauty community, all of our channels, all of our content is very, very similar. That's just how it's going to be. That's just the way it is. But I would say the main thing that makes my channel different is me. There's no other person like me in the world. There's only one of all of us. So I would say that's the main, um, what makes my channel unique is myself because there's only one me. Next question comes from Mercy Chumo. Mercy asks, what is the name of your new ear piercing and can you please do a close up of how it looks? Thanks, love your videos by the way. 
Well, thank you. I'm glad you love my videos. The name of my piercing, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's referring to this one right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's called a triple forward facing helix. And it's still healing right now, um, so I don't want to really get too close up on it. I've had it for a while now, maybe like six months, and it's still not completely healed. And it was very, very painful, so I don't know if I would do it again. I do really like the way that it looks, but as far as healing, it has been an absolute pain. The next question comes from Sweet Num 24 and Sweet asks, when did you meet your best friend? Any advice on how to meet new friends when you're basically an adult? How did I meet my best friend? I met my best friend in my senior year of high school. We both shared, um, we were like teacher's aides and she worked in the office, I worked in the clinic and we just, like there was some party and we decided to go together and then we just started hanging out. And we've been the best of friends ever since then. Um, how to make friends as an adult. I really don't have advice on that because I don't think I've made any new friends since then. <laughs> I'm very, I'd say I'm kind of introverted. I'm kind of a house rat. I like to stay in the house. So I don't really go out a lot to meet new people. I'm also not very trusting of people, which I know it can kind of be a bad thing, but it can kind of be a good thing. Um, so yeah, I mean, find people that have similar interests to you, probably. The next question comes from Tiana T. Tiana asks, when and why did you start wearing makeup? Can you speak another language? And what do you do for fun? The first part I already answered. Um, can I speak another language? Not really, I can speak like a little, little, little bit of Spanish, but not much. I used to be able to speak more in high school when I took Spanish. Um, I had straight A's in Spanish, but now that I don't really I don't really speak the language in my everyday life. I don't really know much of it anymore. And what do I do for fun? Probably watch YouTube videos. I know it's really sad, but like I said, I don't really go out a lot. If I do go out, um, what I would do is like watch movies, go to the movies, or go out to eat. I love to eat, so yeah, those are two things that I do for fun if I'm going out somewhere. The next question comes from Jade Delion, and Jade asks, do you listen to Jamaican music and embrace your Jamaican heritage? I do listen to Jamaican music. A lot of it is the stuff that I grew up listening to, which is the stuff my dad used to listen to. So I don't really listen to a lot of new Jamaican music. I listen to like just old school Jamaican stuff. And do I embrace my heritage? I try to. Um, I wish I could embrace it a lot a lot more. Unfortunately, I'm not really close to any of my family on my dad's side. They just don't live near me. They're either in another country or, well, yeah, they're all in another country pretty much. So um, I wish I could embrace it more, but I try to embrace it. The next questions come from Sarah Holiday. Sarah asked six questions. So Sarah, I'm gonna try to answer uh, most of the ones I haven't answered. So she asked, have you ever struggled with self-esteem issues? I have struggled and I still do struggle with self-esteem issues. I think we all have things that we are not happy about, um, about ourselves or that we like to change. So I still struggle, not as much, probably more in my like high school days and middle school days. I was kind of picked on and bullied by some of the girls in high school and middle school. I think it's just a part of going through middle school and high school for most girls is getting bullied. So I did struggle with a lot more self-esteem issues then. Um, now it's just like the regular things, like certain things I'm not happy about about myself, which we all have. One of her other questions was, how do you deal with jealousy? You're incredible incredibly beautiful I know for some reason that may make you a target well thank you and how do I deal with jealousy honestly I just ignore it I don't let it really bother me so just ignore it next question comes from Noelia Santos Sierra she said how often do you trim your ends I love you I love you too um, I trim my ends every time I get a treatment for a Japanese hair straightening so I would say every like 9 to 12 months and when I do trim my ends I take off about like 3 or 4 inches each time so yeah about every 9 to 12 months. This video is getting really really long so I'm going to go ahead and answer one more question. The last question comes from Sahani Bordier. 
I hope I didn't butcher that. She says, have you ever bleached or dyed your hair? Yes, I have bleached my hair in high school and I dyed my hair a lot of times in high school. I was like a hair chame chameleon in high school. I dyed my hair and colored my hair so many different times. And um, yeah, I bleached it and it was pretty much like a honey blonde color. And I've only done it that one time. Um, I haven't really dyed my hair, or bleached my hair as an adult. So mainly just in high school. So that was it for the Q&A portion of this video. Thank you guys so much for everyone who asked a question. I will possibly do more videos like this in the future if you guys like them. And let's go ahead and get into the giveaway portion of this video. So first, let's go over the prizes. The first place winner will be winning a $100, no, a $150 e-gift card to either Sephora or Ulta, and that will be your choice. And you can use that in the store or on the website. And you'll also be winning a $50 gift card to Bell Rose Gems, which is where I get all of my statement necklaces like this that I wear in my videos, well, most of my statement necklaces. So you will be winning a gift card for Bell Rose Gems as well. So that's a $200 prize value. The second place winner will be winning a $100 e-gift card to Sephora and, no, and or Ulta. And then the third place winner will be winning a $50 e-gift card to Sephora or Ulta. And also on my Instagram, I will be giving away a prize package from NYX Cosmetics, which they were kind enough to send over to me. It's going to contain the entire Spring 2015 line of their Intense Butter Glosses and new Prismatic Eyeshadows, and it's valued at $132. I don't yet have the items in my possession, but as soon as I do, I'll be hosting a giveaway on them so definitely make sure you follow me on Instagram to find out more information on that as far as the rules for this giveaway first you have to be a subscriber secondly follow me on Instagram Twitter and my Facebook all of which I will link down below for you in the description box and leave a comment down below on this video telling me what was your first video that what was the first video that you saw of mine and how did you discover my channel and please limit it to one comment per person because I want everyone to have an equal opportunity to win and I also want to read through as many of these as I can because I'm really interested to know how you found my channel I'm going to be hosting this giveaway for two weeks so I will put the date right here where the giveaway will end and I'll also put everything down below in the description so please Go ahead and read the description box to um, just go over all the rules and that way you don't miss anything. But that's about it. Again, thank you guys so much for being subscribers and viewers and supporters of my channel. I really, really appreciate it. I can't believe I'm here at 100,000 subscribers. I never imagined I would get this far. Um, but thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And yeah, that's about it. So until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. And they have like a nutty smell to them mixed with a little bit of marijuana. No, I'm just kidding. They just smell like, um, like nuts. So yeah. So yeah, by the taste of that, they're definitely not supposed to be eaten by themselves.